What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV. Just finished here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham 3, Brentford 2. And bloody hell Tottenham. You don't make it hard for yourselves, do you? Yeah. I mean, terrible first half showing, wasn't it? We go 1-0 down at half time and you're thinking, what is going on here? And Brentford deserved it, Billy. Yeah, in the they first did. Half. But they we were, were poor. They we were, were poor. We were poor, but they were threatening on the counter every time. They were exploiting that space. They were hitting us in transition so effectively. And when they got the goal, it wasn't a surprise. And, uh, I think Vicario makes a save from a Tony header, it could be two. Yeah. We were yeah, we were very poor. No, Apart from the first ten minutes actually. Yeah, look, we started well but we started well, when but you look at the whole half, Brentford were much of the better side in that first half. Yeah. Much the better side. And I don't know why, uh, but not only the best side, they were shit housing, they were pissing us oh, off. Oh mate, that war pie celebration, he comes up to like Tottenham fans and does the Madison celebration. And then he goes and has some words with Madison as he's walking back to his half as well, but we had the last laugh anyway, you know, half time comes, we make two changes, Kulisevsky back into the middle, Skip went off, which was a surprise to me, because I thought Skip actually was one of our better players in the first half, but those first 10 minutes were breathtaking stuff, on we blew yeah. them away. We, that won us the game, those, those, the opening 10 minutes of the second half, we were so good, and I thought that was probably our only good 10 minutes of the whole game. I think it was 10 minutes of magic, I yeah. think, and that, that's pretty much what won us the game, I think we blew them away. When we were on our game and we were red hot and we were just carving them open they couldn't live with us and that's the quality we know that we have but unfortunately uh, for the rest of the game it was few and far between in, in terms of those moments and even after we blitzed and we saw three goals in 10 minutes it was uh, uh, who, who scored Brian Johnson scored the second who scored the first the doggy scored the first um, he, he, the doggy shot kind of deflected back to him he scored the second goal brilliant work from Timo on the left hand side great ball across the face of goal Johnson taps him and Richie after good work from Madison, who we'll talk about in a minute, um, makes it a three. And you're thinking, three one up, we flitz them, it's going to be an easy ride here. But, credit to Brentford, they didn't give up. And it wasn't just, obviously we gave them a goal, made it three two, but it wasn't just that moment. I think Tony, you know, went round with Vicario, a bit wide, just four yeah, men as well. Like, they, they were growing back into the game in before we gave the goal. Them, we gave them too much confidence in that second half. Like, we could have kept going, kept going after that third goal. And it just seemed like we slowed down a little bit for some reason. I'm not sure why. And, we gave Brentford that belief back again in that second half. Yeah, uh, we did, unfortunately. It was all our own doing. It was a bit, again, too sloppy. Um, but look, we did see out the game. I, I think, apart from Vicario saving stoppage time, which he had to tip over, I think, it, I can't know who shot it, but might have been Tony. But um, apart from that save, Brentford, they had a lot of promising positions, but not, didn't create enough chances. Obviously, Dragerson comes on for the last uh, 10 minutes or so, helps see out the game. And look, we ended up getting the three points at the end of the day. But it was an extremely hard fought victory. Brentford came here with a plan to try and piss us off, try and wind us up, try and force us into mistakes, exploit our mistakes. And it didn't really work. It wasn't for some amazing uh, forward play in that 10 minute spell. And when we were on it, they just couldn't deal with our attacking play. And I think credit to Ant because he must have said something at half time to really wild the players he up. He must have laid into and, it. And, and it completely worked. Into. And for those 10 minutes, we blew them away. And I tell you what, in those first 10 minutes, who was pivotal? Timo Werner. I thought when we're playing that kind of football, that's when you're going to see the best out of Timo Werner. The speed, just getting um, you know balls across the box. And it worked for us. And we got that goal with Brendan Johnson. Um, in terms of James Madison today, I was like kind of a half assist. It didn't really come off him, but it was his hard work that forced that goal for Richarlison. Oh, yeah. For Richarlison. But in terms of um, in terms of James Madison, he was rusty, very, very rusty today. In the first half, I thought he was fairly poor. The second half, he did get a bit better, but still not to the James Madison that we know and love. Well, obviously, he, was, he went off suffering from cramps, so maybe yeah. that's an indication of where his fitness level is at the moment in terms of match practice, match fitness, but. I did think he was better in the second half. I thought he was a lot, um, the, his control was a lot tighter. He was keeping the ball a lot better. He was actually weaving into those tight spaces, which you know you can do really effectively. In that first half, he looked out of sorts, to be honest. He was, yeah. uh, he was still over the kept losing it. That, those, those bits of magic weren't really there for Madison. I thought he definitely did improve in the second half, and hopefully that's a sign of things to come. In terms of more positives, obviously Brandon Johnson getting on the score sheet after, you know... Especially a lot of criticism yeah, that he's come under. A couple of weeks where he's really been a barrage of criticism, the fact that he got on the score sheet um, was really possible, although it was probably one of the only things he did do. Um, for me, I don't know if he was my man of the match, maybe he was my man of the match, but I thought Charleston was brilliant. I thought he was probably our best forward player on the day. Yet again, his overall play is so much better than it was during the season, um, early in the season. He just works so hard as well. He works, he's tireless running, he makes it stick in the forward line as well, bring other players into play, winning free kicks, 
causing a nuisance. He was absolutely brilliant, I thought, throughout the game and got a reward for it with his goal as well. Uh, that makes it eight league goals now uh, for Richarlison. So really upping that goal tally as well. So really showing what he can do in a top of shirt. And I was really, really happy with him. So I, I thought I probably am going to give him a man of the match. Look, I thought Richie was really good. But actually, who I'm going to give my man of the match to is Romero. I thought Romero was sublime today. I don't think he put a foot wrong. Aggressive, stepping out from the back. Um, a lot of times when you know we looked under pressure, I thought he was the one relieving off us that pressure time and time again. So I'm actually going to give Romero a uh, man of the match. And I think giving Romero a man of the match kind of tells a story of the game because for only 10 minutes of that second half, we looked dynamite. And you would have thought scoring three goals, we would have put in a really good display today, but we didn't. I don't yeah. think Spurs were good today. And I think that is a few worrying signs though. We weren't good. Did we deserve the win? Um, I think, look, we had more shots than, 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 than Brentford. I think our XG was probably better. On the balance of play, I, th I, I think we... Did we deserve it? I think Brentford will definitely feel hard done by not yeah. getting anything to yeah. that game. Definitely their fans will be going home tonight. Although, we should have been taking something to To be game. fair, though, that, that 10 minutes, we even could have probably scored another goal in that 10 minutes yeah. as well. Yeah, we were that good. And we were that good. That, that 10 minute alone probably... Just uh, won us, put, yeah. yeah, just about won us the game, and it's the quality that shines through. Yeah, and um, look, Sars coming back on the weekend as well. Yeah, That's massive, body. massive. You can see again, again, I feel, I thought today, late in the game, we were looking tired, man. We were struggling with, with energy. Brentford were able to bring a few few players on, yeah. and that added energy to him. I thought we had to Silva, the number 10 for them. I thought he played a real impact when he came on as well. Ivan Tony, I thought, gave us um, a really tough ride. What player? Brilliant. He made 3,000 the first five minutes of the game. Where, like... He was so aggressive today, Ivan Tony. We, did, we found it hard to deal with him. And look, if, if he had um, better finishing on him today, he could have scored a few more goals. And maybe better teammates as well, because I thought he was uh, creating chances. There was as well. one chance, wasn't it, where he went bearing down the goal and he just kind of like scooed it wide. That, that was and a big chance. The big chance for Ivan Tony. Yeah, but then he scored a minute later, didn't he, after a dogey threw a scabby to him. What, what is a dogey doing? Like, this is the second time he's done something like that. Yeah. West Ham was the first time. And I thought as well, like in the first half, in the early stages, he just kept giving the ball back, ball away time and time again. I think their goal came from Destiny Odogi giving the Second ball away. Second goal, yeah. Like, um, even the uh, first goal the first as well. Goal, uh, yeah, it was actually, yeah. So was, like, yeah. like both goals, both come park. from Destiny. Like, what is he doing today? And I thought like there were moments, he got to, gets on the score sheet, obviously. But I think his defensive display and the way he was just so lazily giving the ball away so often was, was, yeah, was annoying, man. I wouldn't say it was defending. I would say it was more sloppy in possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah agreed, yeah. I think overall, apart from those couple of moments, I don't think he did too much wrong. I thought actually he had a decent big game. moments. He gave away two goals. Obviously, he cost you and uh, then, you know, lets them back in there the There was game. another one which they didn't capitalise on as well, uh, just after the goal they scored. Yeah, so, look, he definitely didn't have his best game, but obviously he did get on the score sheet. I don't think there's anything to, like... There you go, someone take a selfie. Uh, come on. I don't, I don't think it's like a, a narrative to like say he's struggling or anything overall. I still no, think it was okay, but, but yeah. It's things that he's got to watch out for because you, you cast your mind back yeah, to I that. think every player knows not to pass it back to your own people. Yeah, but why like, does it keep happening then? Because yeah, it, it happened happens. against West Ham, it's happened again today, and it yeah. really put us under pressure. It like did. We're 3-1 up, we're clean sailing in the game, we've just had an amazing 10 minutes, and he's doing that, and then we're, we're back under the cosh again. Yeah, and I'm sure he'll know not to do that. I'm sure, uh, hopefully... Uh, going forward, that that that's the situation be rectified. Uh, another, I thought first of all, Hoybier, um put a decent cameo. Yeah, he was good half, when he came on. Pretty good. Well, to be and, fair, um, did you understand that sub though? Skip for Hoybier. I didn't I understand it. Was fairly good the first half. I didn't understand it, but I did think Hoybier was a bit more aggressive, a bit more yeah, like, agree, like, yeah. challenged. Yeah. And maybe he helped win us. It ball turned out to be a good move. Um, Kulisevsky was poor today. Though, Kulisevsky was poor. Bit, I thought he was better in the middle than he was out wide today. So poor overall. And it's um, weird with Kunu, isn't it? Because this week. It's that way, and the other, and yeah. against Man City, it was the other way around. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, something he has to work on. Jamie Dunley had a bit of a cameo. Um, Gets booked. Got booked. I think it was a clever foul from him. He had What I was really interested in is, literally, one of the last minutes of the game, he has the ball at the edge of his area. We're all, we're all uh, screaming at him to clear it because, you know, it's a dangerous moment. And he has the confidence and the patience to you know, draw a foul, relieve the pressure. And that was in Shemofin, obviously on the ball, didn't, have, didn't uh, get to see too much of the ball. But I thought that was an interesting thing to point out by Jamie Donnelly. But overall, look, we end up getting the victory. You've got to remember, this is a tough period for us. No Son, no Bissar, no Basuma. It's a period we're going to have to ride out. I know we still got players on the pitch that can win us the game. That's what happened. But you look at the bench, and it is still bare thin. So well, we shouldn't be giving away these sloppy goals. That's the thing for me. The yeah, sloppy no, I, goals. I agree with you, but 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 I think 
we are going to get better once these players come back and once we have a full squad that we can actually impact the game off the bench. I feel like yet again today we struggled to add that extra energy to the performance where maybe if we had a star and Basuma there who was starting and then we have players to come off the bench and really add that energy we can go again late in the game rather than struggling for those last 20 minutes. It's going to be so important to get back in the team. He just gives, we still haven't had that balance in the midfield in the side since Sara's left. And yeah. when, when he comes back, he's going to add all that balance back to the midfield and I think we're going to look a lot better for it. But look, we got out of it. We got out of jail a bit today. We got the three points. Um, things are top four. Yeah, things are looking good in the league. We're into the top four, three points behind Arsenal. And we move on to Everton away on the weekend. So this is going to be very, very good. Yeah, very good. But look, if we can get through that game with, with, with a win, then look, hopefully that's only one more game after that with maybe some missing. So then all of a sudden you're looking like these players are coming back. We're still in a good position in the league. Nothing to be worried about. All right, we move on. We'll see you in the studio tomorrow where we run down even deeper, delve down even deeper into the game. But three points at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, How come on you Spurs. Spurs.